Alright everybody, welcome back to the Malfa Project, and today we're going to be working on the stones again, so that's going to be lovely. Uh, yeah, yesterday I was a little bit too tired to do stuff because, uh, well, reasons. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I had some a uh, lot of busy work to do and I had to fix a lot of stuff, so... Uh, congratulations on me. I even uh, made sure that I had myself some good old-fashioned Chinese food, which is uh, glorious. So uh, today we're going to be working on these rocks right here. Alright, no further ado, let's get started, shall we? Yeah. Move this other chair down and now we can start. Alright. So, um, yeah, I have been doing a lot of things lately and uh, those things are indeed a very hard thing to do. Uh, let's see. Is this the part that is responsible for this part over there? Probably it is, probably it isn't. Yes, it is, alright. I need to make sure that I have this thing on. Yeah, thank you. Alright, um, I need to grab this part right here. And is this a problem that is caused by... Yeah, it is a problem that's caused by the crystal. Alright, good. And then that is all good and settled. Alright, so we need to go back here. And now we can start on drawing over here. So, um, do 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 do. Get the right thing. Get the right color. As you can see, I have been busy with uh, pink. That means that I have been busy with a, with another pro uh, with another thing. I actually have been busy with uh, these boys. So don't worry about that. I just wanted to show you that I was busy with that. I actually wanted to draw. And I'm be working on a project, and that project is for me. It's a personal project, not for you know anything else. But I do like to have myself some old-fashioned, good old-fashioned cartoonish drawings. So uh, that's always great. Oh, hey, Blue! <laughs> nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Um. So yeah, we're gonna be working on these rocks. Whoa. So, allow me to just put this down so that I have a good vision upon how far we can draw these rocks. And we need to do it like this. Alright, and then put this right there. And this should work. And, oh, 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 what the, alright, now it works. Is this worth it? That's the question. Now I can go for the time. I can go for the lighter version of this. Like that. Is that a good? Uh, I want it like this. I don't want it like that. I want a more, a little bit more rocky. There you go. Much better. All right, so um, now that I have the shape done, I can now start with drawing. Of course, you know the drawing is going to be very difficult to draw because you know we're we're working on tiny little schedules here, and uh, these rocks are normally a little bit bigger than normal because you know we're working on a big big rock and not a tiny one at all. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to take our time making sure that this rock looks nice and then we're going to move on to the next one. Because that's important, because otherwise you won't be able to get to from point A to point B. And I need to switch this around. I need to switch it up like so. I need to do it upside down, otherwise my hand is going to be stuck on the tablet. Which is bad because you know we don't want to. We want to make sure that we have our hands supported underneath, underneath everything. So once we're drawing, I don't have to put too much pressure on the tablet, and I need to move the tablet backwards. All right, now I can go. But then I can just you know do the switcheroo, right? Yeah, then I can do the switcheroo if I want to. And I can go for this one and just move this a little bit that way. That should work as well. 
So yeah, today this is probably going to be the most intense thing that I ever done again because you know we're doing tiny little baby steps here. So we're using a tiny uh we're using a pencil that is on point. All right, that's good. So that has been calibrated correctly. I was a little bit afraid that it would not have been correctly put down. I still need to update this uh, uh need to still update the driver update for the uh, tablet itself, but I'm a little bit waiting on that. Um, I'm gonna be probably doing it on the Saturday because then, you know, I don't have to draw. So that's a good part. Or I'm gonna be doing it tomorrow t uh, tonight. Probably one out of the two. Anyway, these are the rocks, as you can see, and these rocks are very hard to draw because, you know, we're drawing a big rock and not a tiny one. So it means that there is a more complicated, uh, more complex structure in it. So our texture needs to be on top of this. It needs to be top notch. So you can see already, like, ah, well, we can go for this right here. But yeah, we need to make sure that this rock effect is fully functional. Therefore, you know, we need to make sure that we have the rock effect all around. Uh, what I want to do here is actually having the rock effect taking place, so we're going to move over here and draw. As you can see, a lot of this, a lot of the drawings that I'm drawing right now, it's just, you know, a rock part, so it should not be so difficult to draw rocks, right? But it is a big rock, and that is the main problem I'm having right now. If it was not so, if it was not a, such a big rock, I would have not have such a problem with it. But because it is a big rock, I have trouble with getting from point A to point B with these rocks. As you can see, I can see if this works, and now I need to double check. So is this too rough? Yes, this is too coral rough. All right, so I cannot use this kind of appearance on this. How then? How can I do this then? Um, probably like that. That would work, right? All right. So we have this trouble here, and we need to get this rock to be in the exact shape we want. Otherwise, we don't have one. Otherwise, we don't have the full swing of it. That's the main issue with this rock. Now we can take a look at it. Still too tough on the on the edges. This is why it's so important that we are doing it. So the main issue here is that this this part right here. Much better, much better. All right. Now, hopefully, this will fix. Now, hopefully, this will fix itself up after we're done with the whole damn drawing. But yeah, as you can see, this is like uh, a rotated angle, so it's like a big rock from here to there. And of course, you want to represent that. But to do so, you need to make sure that the rocks look like rocks. If they don't look like rocks, then well, you know, you don't gonna have that effect, and we want certainly want those rocks. We certainly want those sweet ass rocks with that sweet, uh, sweet uh, effect on it, because we want to make sure that it looks stone hardy. <laughs> oh well, you know, the this reminds me all the time, you know, making tiny little mistakes and then you know following up with the other thing. It's a really hard thing to do, but yeah, um. I have doing I have uh I have some good news so uh, that's glorious um I'm actually going to go uh I'm going to be going uh to an appointment uh next week so yeah on Monday if I believe so myself it is going to be a long it's going to be a long trip 
definitely because I need to go 60, mi uh, 60 miles of uh, distance between it, between me and the place I need to go to, and hopefully you know uh, we can see where that lands. I'm hoping that uh, it, it's it will be educational and provide me with enough information what and what and how. And if it is if it is if I think it is what it is gonna be thinking, then well probably I need to be looking for a home in that direction where I'm gonna be going. Because I'm gonna be then going there a lot. So uh I have been applied for uh I'm gonna be going to a job invitation or something like that. The appliances? Uh, uh the word that is used for it. There you go. Easy. <laughs> English, very difficult when you don't know the and don't want to know if you don't know the the words for it and you're trying to you know explain every single situation to some people. Ah, never gets old. But yeah, um, also Saturday I'm gonna be doing some other stuff. Saturday I'm gonna be playing some D and D, so that's great. Yeah, overall it's gonna be a glorious uh, weekend. Well, not Saturday. I mean Sunday. I'm gonna be playing D&D. Saturday, I'm gonna be playing some sweet ass Temtem, probably. Yeah. And then I will see if I can find a Mr. Max and uh, General X somewhere because apparently, you know, they're wanting to steal stuff and uh, I have to stop them. So yeah. Um. Also, I need to make. I need to make remember myself that I need to work on Saturday on my drawing of what I've been working on. Because, you know, that chicken is not going to get himself done. I just want to make sure that the chicken looks cool, so, yeah. Got to be working on that. Um, so, yeah. That's all what I have to say for today, actually. It has been a very casual day. It is, uh, you know, it has been raining, it has been cold. Not enough sunshine, you know. Just perfect weather for gaming. Duh. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you try to do stuff and then you realize, like, well, um, what, what are you going to do now? And I'm like, hmm, good point, good point, good point. I could do something else. And I'm like, yes, I could. And I was, like, wondering what I was supposed to be doing, but I'm actually waiting for something to happen. And uh, well, that thing—the uh, the thing is only going to be happening in tomorrow, so I need to wait for it. Of course, you know that's going to be taking a long time. If I need to wait for something, then you know it's going to be taking far longer than you think it's going to be. So uh, tomorrow I will have my best of days, but uh, um, to do so, you know, we need to work around with it. Anyway, as you can see. We're now making our rock. This rock is now sketched as described in the place here. We still had a lot a lot of rain here as well. Ah lovely. Well at least you can dance in it. I did last time that I did that I had rain on my ass. I was li listening to some electro jazz and I was like, you know what? Everybody else is hiding in the rain and I'm like no, it's not like uh, you know I can go to find some shelter in any any second anyway. So I did did myself some dancing in the rain and it was lovely. I always have fun when uh, when it comes to listening to music. I don't care what uh, what kind of weather it is or how bad the day is or whatever. Music always cheers me up. It always cheers me up and lifts me from the ground and then let, lets me do whatever I wanted to do. But yeah, I am uh, hopefully able to get the stuff I want tomorrow. If so, then I'm gonna be a rich boy. You know, I always play I always play a game which is uh always all about um technically it's a technically it's a crafting game, alright? You you build a you build a Mad Max style vehicle and go into the de uh, into the desert. But what I always do is like I have like already two years of experience on playing it, and I found it like uh, I found out like well you know technically every single time there is this this type of event 
you're going to make a lot of money. And I'm like, hmm, good point. I like to make money. So the whole the whole place is uh, the whole the whole system of this game is built around some uh, magical cryptocurrency that is like fixed. So there is no way of you know getting from point A to point B. You can buy it whenever you want, and it is quite funny that I am like able to uh, manipulate the market in such a way that I always will make profit profit whenever I sell or buy stuff. And I'm now waiting for that to do again. And luckily, I have be, I ha, I caught myself on time. Like, oh wait, um, this I need to build now quickly so that I can, you know, sell it very, very, very expensive. So uh, that's what I did today <laughs> because I I caught myself like, wait on, hold on a second. I can make five hundred. I can make what again? Oh, I can make ten bucks out of this real money box. I oh, don't mind if I do. Because, you know, technically there is no real money, but you can guess what the value is if you look up the value in comparison when you have an exchange rate. So, yeah, it's a, it's it's fun to do uh, that kind of um, a math, you know, figuring out how much money you can make out of something when you're not, you're not abusing the system or anything. You're just, you know, finding loopholes in, in the market. So, technically, it's just, you know, finding stuff. Yeah, dancing in the rain is indeed fun. It's considered fun, definitely. And I'm very happy upon that. All right, all right, all right, all right. So as you can see, the more I draw on this rock, the more rocky it gets. So that's the whole main idea of you know building up the drawing itself. You, the more you build on it, the the better it gets, and the more you get at it, the more uh. Uh, oh 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 boy! Yeah, that's bad. The more you draw on it, the more uh, the more it's gonna be looking like a rock. So you just need to find out like where do you want to draw, where do you want to leave stuff behind, and then you know go from that point on towards the exit. So we can now take a look at this, and we can see like oh well, this doesn't look well. This doesn't look like a rock. Well, then we're going to be editing some more stuff to it. So as you can see, we we are casually, you know, figuring out like, ah, well, this is how the shape is going to be, and this is how the pattern is. So if we want to draw this rock, well, we need to draw this rock like the other rock, how I drew the first part. The main issue with always with these uh, with these rocks is that, well, you know. We can be very picky on this, but we need to make sure that it doesn't, um, how do you say, become too obvious that it is hand handily drawn, because that is the main idea. You don't want to make sure you don't want to let the audience know that it is all. Yeah, you want to know that the uh, you want to you want to know that the audience that this is hand drawn, but you don't want to be make it too obvious how you did it. That's the idea. You know, we know how to do it. That that's for sure. We know how to draw this ro these rocks because you know we drew them, we drew them in the first place. But uh, you you can see how those rocks uh, work and how those rocks uh, feel like. So if we add now the color that we have, that is this part right here. As you can see, we added a lot of. Um, Lighting already to it, and all this stuff that we need. So we added, we added all the, all the three layers in one layer, which is the thing that we need to do to get from point A to point B, if we want to do this. So we're gonna be doing that now, and I'll I'll show you what I mean. So we have the rock, and when you add the color to it, it already changes to the rock. Uh, it already gives the shape of the rock, as you can see. Now, uh, with lighting and uh, darkening of the drawing itself, it will even create more kind of effects. So the first, the first part we need to do is the lighting part. So we need to pick up the lighter color, and it's very important that we are making sure that we have not everything selected. So this is the color of the lighting part. Then we need to make sure that we have this on a different layer. So we should then put it on the pencil, maybe. Should we put it on the pencil? Probably you should put it on the pencil, right? Yeah, that that is doable. 
so that we can now see where we where we're going to be drawing here as you can see we can uh we can successfully uh figure out like where and how things are going to be looking out like so the more the more the more the more stuff you draw the better it gets of course but you always need to make sure that you are prepared to um make sure that it looks nice and that is the idea of the rock itself of course you know this is only two two colors also we should definitely put the alpha on so that we don't uh overdraw so that we don't draw over here instead of you know so that we are exactly did it correctly um so yeah um i uh, i did a lot of uh, i did a lot of things uh, yesterday and i had a lot of fun with doing it i had a lot of fun today as well and then maybe tomorrow i will be doing my cartoon again working on it and then finally you know once that is all done, once I have all the cards done, I can then finally animate them, and then I will produce them into the. I will put them on YouTube. So don't worry about that. Uh, animation is a piece of the shit. Uh, animation is a piece of shit, though for me then at least, I'm I'm terrible at it. So let's hope uh, that's gonna be lovely. Let's hope I can put. I uh, let's hope I can pull it off. Yeah, I have not high hopes for. I don't have high hopes for it, but. If I can pull it off, then I'm very happy because then I found a way how to do it correctly. So, also it will make things look really cool. So, uh, yeah, but I want to I want to implement them into a game. So therefore, I want to see if I can animate them, or at least you know, uh, give a particle effect to it. There you go. Words. Words are very important to explain things that you want to tell. Uh, I want to make sure that I have like a particle effect or something like that in the uh, genre to get to it. So I want these animation cards or animated cards or whatever. I want these animations into it and then, you know, get a cool looking bird and cool looking uh, style. So uh, normally, you know, I need to then figure out things and get things up and running, like looking at things and become more smarter, so that's gonna be a problem for another day, but that's a problem that I am willing to take. But yeah, I'm hoping that uh, everybody understands how hard that is gonna be, but uh, of course, you people already realize, like, well, you have a drawing, then why is it so hard to animate? Well, because you need to have, like, different li uh, d uh, different parts, and I need to figure out how I'm going to be doing it on the uh, on this uh, software. Uh, why do I want to learn how to do it? It is because I want to see and feel uh, and see uh, what the potential is of the software itself that I that I have bought. Uh, put it that way is actually quite smart. Anyway, um, I need to make sure that I have these things up and running. I need to add some nice little looking color to this and as you can see I'm already putting some cool looking style to towards this rock and this rock now already looks like a rock can you see it I can it's already looking like a rock lovely so now we're gonna pick up the darker color so we're gonna pick up the dark the dark color of them all and uh, if we add that color to it it would be um it would be finally you know oh, Jesus um well let's see if I can uh let's see if I can blend it let's see if I can blend it and then see if it works oh that works that works lovely all right so I have now this color, so now I need to put it into perspective of this, so I need to put it into the uh, airbrush, maybe? Do I need to put it into the airbrush to get from point A to point B?
and then I need to grab this like that. And this is how you create shaping into the rock by putting a dark tint to it and then well technically it's not a dark tint it is actually getting better someone asked me the other day you can draw right does that mean that you can add that you can animate no it does not <gasps> oh my god no shit <laughs> so yeah uh, I can draw I can probably animate the art style probably it's gonna be looking horrible alright it's gonna be looking like a gif instead of an animation probably but I would be able to do it if the uh, if the product that I'm using right now has the ability to redraw over my original drawing so I can see my original drawing and then I can move from there on to the next part to the next part to the next part so if that is the case of it I would be able to do it downside is Downside is it's gonna be taking a lot of time to do so, and I hope it will work. If not, well, no problem, no problem, no problem. I will just animate by you know, picture screens, picture one, picture two, picture three, picture four. There you go, and there you, and then you have the whole damn thing of it. So I'll probably do that, or I'm gonna be you know, you know, just gonna be going for bits instead. Because I can do bit, I can do bit gives, so that th those are decent. I can make, I can make a start sign, you know, when you press it, it falls apart. That kind of style I can do. All right, bush, bush, bada bush, bida boom. Mm. I need some more grass over here, though. Um. All right, all right, and now we can go back to number one. And we can work on our cool looking drawing again. Oh, oh. I feel so I feel so happy right now that I'm that I have made a new rock. Oh a new rock. Yes, a new whole rock. So we drew a rock and now we're gonna be working on a new rock. So we're gonna be drawing a new rock. And this rock is gonna be uh, this rock is gonna be on the grass, as you can see. And we need to make sure that this rock looks decent, so we should definitely make sure that this rock falls into the grass line. Like that. That's a lovely rock. And we can follow this up. And that, this is why I built it in transparency. Why? Uh, the first time I use it, so the sketch is in transparency so I can draw over it. If I can do that with the animation style, then there would be no, not such a problem. Yep. That's what I'm gonna be doing for those D and D shorts. <laughs> uh, yeah, picture picture screens are still fun, all right. They, they they can still describe everything. It's like a manga, all right. It's like a it's like a comic book, but you just show the pictures instead of you know, and then you move the camera around. So technically, you can still do that kind of animation. You know, being like "wha bam," and then you know the person gets a KO die, and then you, you w go to the next page, and then the, the evil dude finally stands up again and says, "You have not beat me! How dare you!" And he's gonna be laughing manically as he pulls out his jam of doom, his jam of everlasting power, whatever. But the heroes, of course, had something to to negate the effect, but they were all they shiver in fear, and they did not know that he, they had that they did not know they had the uh, item to defeat him, of course. So you know, in the desperate moment when the hero finally protects his healer, the maiden, the maiden, the maiden in blue, then well, you know, the hero finally strikes with his sword and blocks the energy beam that has been fired by the evil lord and then it is being revealed that the legendary sword of dudeness finally has the is in the hands of the hero so technically he will he would be able to defeat the evil dude by you know doing the finally doing the heroic deed that has to need to be done defending the maiden ah see that is uh that, that that is the that is the most casual plot ever, <laughs> but it works all right. It works. It works. You know, revealing revealing heroic powers by doing a heroic deed. 
you know, sacrificing yourself for the greater good. That is, that is a heroic deed, you know, you're, you're sacrificing yourself or protecting somebody you like or love for against the evil that has been, you know, uh, trying to defeat you. So, uh, you know, you, it's either you or the evil person, but uh, uh, yeah. yeah. But it is very cliche. <laughs> yep. That's anyway, um, so yeah, I'm going to be building these rocks and I'm going to be doing probably a point by, uh, like, you know, screenshot. It's like, it's not animation. It's just, you know, pictures. Technically, if you put the pictures together, then you have the animation. So, yeah. Ah, <sighs> I should definitely put some drinks. I should have definitely put some drinks here. But uh, yeah, um, I hope you all had a lovely day already because I had. I actually had to do some stuff. I wanted to do some more stuff, and I realized I couldn't do such a stuff. So I'm actually working towards getting from point A to point B with that. Working, uh, building on a game, b making some love, uh, making lo lovely money. And I'm free to game, play the game, yeah, all that stuff. That that's me. I really like money, all right. I don't like I don't like money. I just do, I like to make free money, you know. Seeing stuff that I thought of work, like you know, oh my god, my idea worked. What? How? How did it work? And then you know you figure out like, oh yes, because I added this, make sure that the vari variables that I have been using. Where it is in this, and then you know, add a couple of uh, uh, things to it, and bloody blue, and blue dabouche, and there you go. And then you have the whole damn thing with all the things that you want. All right, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. we are almost done with this beautiful rock again. Mm, yep, we're done with the rock. All right, so now we have a second rock. Lovely, see, it's a rock, you can see it. Good. All right. So we have the second rock. We can now add the color of choice towards the rock. We can even highlight even. Oh, we could have even highlighted even more. Dang it! I kind of forgot about that. Mm, we want the neutral color, so that is around that. That is a neutral color, if I believe so. And then we're going to be using the Brush Pro, so that one. And then we're going to be using the, br the Brush Pro again. As you can see, lovely. It works like a charm, which is why we did it anyway. And the more we draw, of course, the more we do, the more, the more it's going to be filled, as you can see. So, uh, I want to make sure that first I have some more lighter color, so I have this part right here is a very light color. Uh, no, this, this part right here. I need to zoom in more. Zoom in! Uh, zoom in more. Come on. Zoom in. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's lovely, right? You pick up the color that you want, and then you zoom out. All right, now we have the color that we want. Also, we can now use this again on this part, which I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be using the gentle brush, maybe this one. I believe this is correct to use because if we now use this again, it will even create more. Ah, all right. So it has already been all right. Fine, but my right. Um, if we switch to if we switch to this, you can see if it has no changes. Nope, it has no changes. Okay. Well, then we're gonna be working on this then. Hmm. That's too. That's not light enough. There you go. I needed this instead. Jeez Louise. I need some decent coloring, not that trashy color. There you go. Hmm. 
Alright. Now we can see that this is working. As you can see. And we're creating shapes already. Nice. That's awesome. Now we need to have the blend tool to make sure that this is not all wasted. And now we can use the dark tool to get to. Now we can use the dark color to get from point A to point B again. All right, now I can use the uh, the paint tool to get get some dark color as well into the drawing itself. So, and now we can use the the merge tool again to get everything up and set up running. All right, and uh, voila, there you go. You have another rock. Oh, a beautiful rock indeed. And that's how you do it, people. Just draw on rocks. It is easy. Just make sure that you don't do anything wrong, and then you know you you can draw the rocks quite quickly. All right. Now we can put the rock part up again, and now we can put this back off, and now we can get back into the business which is drawing with this and then drawing again pure dark alright so now we have another rock so we have another rock we need another rock and that is gonna be like this That's a lovely rock. All right. I need to do that again, and now I need to do it full. Now I need to make sure that I do it correctly. And now we're just going to be doing the same thing again. Getting the color of the rock correctly. Well, the, the whole damn thing done. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How long is it already done? At the 40 minutes! Jeez, alright, alright, fine, fine. Time goes so slow when I try to draw rocks. <laughs> or am I just slow? No, it must be the time. I know that I'm a very slow drawer, that's that's for sure, but I'm trying to be very accurate. That's the main problem most of the times that I'm facing. Yeah. But yeah, it is uh it it is it is all it's alright, I uh, I don't mind. I don't mind, you know. Forty minutes already in cheese Louise, but uh I'll uh I'll show you some progress afterwards, but uh, hopefully, you know, tomorrow uh, it's Friday, so tomorrow I will have some more stuff to do. Well, not stuff to do, I mean, stuff to celebrate. So because I want to, uh, I want to do some stuff. I have to do some stuff, and then hopefully, you know, I will get some. I need to grab some food and some drinks and all that stuff. So that's all I need to buy in. Uh, I have no idea if that makes any sense, but alright, I told you, 
I'm terrible at explaining some ideas in my mind when I'm trying to draw. Thinking and drawing is not a very good idea. Because normally I'm like, blah, when it comes to thinking, when I'm drawing. I try to explain as much as possible. But you know, sometimes I just can't. I have like the worst case scenario of forget a guy is. Yeah, there you go. Forget a guy is. I, I forgot. Especially when I'm trying to think and draw and talk at the same time. It's like, mm, yes, allow me to just totally not know what to do. <laughs> Your rocks are looking quite. Uh, quite good though. Yeah, they're very rough on the edges, but they're really tough. <laughs> they're rock hard, definitely. <laughs> uh, rock jokes. Uh, never gets old. But yeah, the rocks. Uh, the rocks look great, and the more the more I draw on the rocks, the better it gets, you know, and all that stuff. So I can. Uh, boy. No! Ah, oh, god damn it. God dang it. I need to call this off. Alright, there you go. And now I can. Now I can properly do things. They're gonna be looking rock hard. Uh, Yeah. It takes so long to get from point A to point B and I need to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. I'm gonna put a nice little border right over there so I cannot work around the corners. Yeah. Now I can just Move this only then. The main issue with rocks is always that they are really hard to draw, especially the the bigger ones. Because you need to realize how uh, difficult it is to get uh, this kind of drawing into that. The main issue I'm always facing with these rocks is that they always are like, well, you know, they're rocks, so, ugh. They, 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 they kind of, you know, forget, they kind of, you know, I need to make sure that I have openings and parts that are not as high uh, lightened, and some parts need to be a little bit more darker, some parts need to be more detailed, and it is really hard for me to do such a thing, because, you know, rocks are quite a very problematical thing to draw especially if you want to draw like semi-realistic rocks Ugh. and then and it also doesn't help that most of these rocks are only going to be used for background so you know technically they don't have to be textured but I like to have everything textured because that's how my style works my style works like a, like a, like a Japanese painting you have like layer upon layer upon layer upon layer and they are like a dino, uh, diorama point of view. Uh, no, not diorama. I mean uh, a moving picture view. So you can see the layers on top of each other. You can see that they are put behind behind each other. So you have a layer and you see it and then you have another layer seeing it. And you can put like a shadow puppetry into it. So technically you can invert this into a shadow puppet. Uh, so if you would have if you have only the outlines, technically you would have still seen the whole damn picture. That is the idea. I'll show you soon what I mean. This one is so damn hard to uh, damn hard to uh, talk about and you know explain at all times. So we have now we have a rock. Yes, but the rock doesn't have good enough texture because of all the uh, parts that have been, you know, not there. So I want to make sure that I have that also covered. And by doing that, I mean I need to 
uh, get some great, great, great drawing parts done here. There you go. Now things are getting more darker here. We need to get things here more darker. And now this looks like a proper rock. You cannot see it, but it is a proper rock. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll show you now the picture because you know it is already uh, almost time. So don't mind me. Oh shit! I need to save before I do that. All right, and then I'll I'll show you a little explanation here because you know everybody likes to have an explanation. Um, wave, uh, Japanese wave. There you go, Japanese wave. There you go. Uh, okay, there you go. Easy, easy picture. Yes, there you go. All right, there you go. That's the easiest picture. Oh no, no, go away. Don't like that. All right. So what does this do? As you can see, this is a very, very famous art, as you can see. But it has like a very distinct uh thing that is going on here. Uh, for instance, right here, the waves have the outlines, as you can see, resting on top of each other, but they are put into a such in such a way that they are put into layers. So you have the first layer, the second layer, and the third layer, and the fifth uh, and the fourth layer. The first layer is this wave right here. Uh, this uh, uh, no 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 wait. This part right here is the first layer. So the boat is the first layer that has uh, put down. Then the wave comes, so the wave is then the second layer that is being put in the middle here. And then you have the third layer that is this boat right here, and then the last layer is this. Which means that you have like, if you put uh, a shadow, but if you would make this like, if you make this whole thing black and white, you would still have the, and you should, and you would have uh, put light through it. In a puppet, uh, in a shadow puppetry style. So if you had like planks resembling the outlines of all the things, you would have still the whole damn picture done, and you would have still seen every single detail of it. Uh, of course, not everything, but most of it. And you, that is the idea of what my artwork also works like, because as you can see, it is a layer. Tom, it is a layer. So the main layer is the Malfoc. And then you have the second layer, which is the roots and the background. So the roots and the forest are going to be served as the second layer, and then, well, the roots are going to be the first layer, and then the and then the wood is going to be is going to be the middle layer, and then uh, uh, on top of the wood is going to be another layer on top of it. So it has like you know, it's a layer-based style of drawing, not uh, your regular drawing of you know painting into uh, multiple layers uh, with blending and all that stuff. No, you can distinct, distinct, distinctively identify each layer that is being put down. For instance, uh, hold on. For instance, on the, uh, for instance, on the, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, 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 I'll show you. For instance, on the. B -b 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 we're gonna go to Digitakening and, and you're gonna go pick up this guy again because this one explains it a lot. All right, so um, all right, so as you can see with this one, it has the same idea. You have the first, you have the, you have the multiple layers. So you have the main layer, which is the rocks and the environment. Then you have the boat, and then you have the background. It's very very, this one is very easily to see what's going on because you can see that they are multiple layers because they are identified by a certain kind of eye catchers. One of the eye catchers is the big giant rock and is the big giant rock right here. Then you have the two left side rocks, 
and then you have the bottom part. Th those are eye-catching parts. Then you have the boat, which is a, is the is the also an eye-catching part, and then the beast in the back in the background. Uh, that means that the eye-catching parts identify the layers, and therefore, because you can see the layers, it means that you already see that it's a layer-based style of art, because you can successfully identify the layers that are put into it, and the mo and each indent uh, each unique layer has his own, you know, things inside of it. And that is most likely the that's most likely always the idea with my art. You can see stuff happening in the background while you're not looking. While you're focusing on the parts that have been uh, successfully identified by your eyes, you can see new stuff appearing out of thin air because that's how much detail has been put into it. All right. Um, so, uh, no further ado, uh, I would say I will put an end to it for today, uh, right here, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day, and, uh, bye!